while James worked on Edward's line, he often saw Trevor the traction engine. Each time he passed the orchid, he whistled gaily. Trevor smiled, but never whistled back, as he didn't seem to be in steam. This gave James cause for concern. One morning, he stopped close to the orchid to collect apples. Another busy day for you, Trevor! Arch wished for thank you on your part, Trevor chuckled dryly. I'd certainly prefer to be busy. Trevor gave a heavy sigh. Eh, I do envy you, James. Me? An engine who can't even pull an express properly anymore? Asked James, bewildered. Pah, snored Trevor. Who needs an express? You can go anywhere and do anything. I used to go to farms, quarries, towns. Seems I'm only needed here nowadays. It's a shame. I do like to explore. Why, I'll bet you've seen the whole island by now. Actually, James faltered, I haven't. Mainline work only takes you from one end to the other. I've not been on some branch lines for years, if ever. Why not? asked Trevor. Some engines, James replied pointedly, think less of branch lines. I suppose that rubbed off on me. Ah, uh, said Trevor. Perhaps the disdain is born of jealousy. Those heavier engines never get to trouble these rails, but you do. Just then, thunder echoed in the distance. Well, this weather, the only travelling I'll be doing is to my shed, chuckled James as he puffed off. You stay put too, Trevor. That night, the wind howled and the rain beat down on the shed roof. James's sleep was uneasy, but not because of the storm. He was thinking about Trevor. By morning, the storm had passed. James and Edward were being readied for their first trains when they saw the station master pacing the yard. For pity's sake, where's a crane when you need one? Is something wrong, sir? asked Edward. Afraid so. That wind last night brought down trees along the drain. Bill and Ben are trapped at the clay pits. We need to clear the line, but the breakdown cranes are all in use. We don't need a crane, sir, beamed James. We need Trevor. I can fetch him if Edward takes my passengers. The necessary arrangements were made, and soon James and Trevor were steaming down the branch line. James had never been past the harbour before, and was amazed when he saw the drain. Down trees blocked the way, and rainwater pulled around the line. A little water won't stop me, laughed Trevor, and he set to work removing the trees. When the line was clear, and deemed safe, James carried on to the clay pits, while Trevor saw the trees. He helped Bill and Ben take their china clay to the harbour. I say, Ben, smirked Bill, red is a nice change from all these blue engines we see. But I still think our colour is better though, grinned Ben. At last, the work was done. James set off with a train of china clay timber, and a traction engine. Well, Trevor? He asked when they reached the orchid. How do you fancy exploring today? Oh, it's just what I need, said Trevor, yawning happily. Uh, and I hope it's what you needed too. With that, Trevor felt contentedly to sleep, while James continued to the junction. Yes, Trevor. He smiled. Exactly.